Dale Worsham, your number one qualifier, getting ready to go up against the surfer dude, Jeff Deal. Meanwhile, at the top end with Ron Caps. How impressive was that to start your day with the 410? Gary, you know, I've, I've been lucky enough to race Mid-Ohio in a formula car. Been very lucky to race the best race car drivers in the world at that famous Eldora Speedway Love in a it. dirt car. Yeah, great stuff. Still nothing like 10,000 horsepower funny car, 10 foot flames out each side, dragging down the 1,000 foot at 300 something miles an hour. There's just something about it, man. I win or lose, it's great, but it's great to get a win for the Napa guys, especially Intrepid Fallen Heroes. You got the flag on the car. It's just a, it's a big weekend, the marquee matchup. It's still John Force. I, I feel like I race every time. It's DSR versus John Force. It's Ford versus Dodge. Luckily, the Dodge came out on top this time. Well, we'll see you in round two. Good stuff. Del Worsham has his new old car back, the one that they broke a lower tube on two weeks ago. It's fixed with a new front half. John O likes it better on warmer tracks. Jeff Deal went A to B, but Del Worsham did it quicker, went 4072. And Micah was gonna say, if you give Jeff Deal a chance, it's probably because Rob Wendland came over to help on the tune-up this weekend. Yeah, Rob's been doing a pretty good job, but I want to take a look at the staging balls for Del Worsham. I think he made a mistake right here. Take a look at the left. Normally, you're just going to pre-stage right there. He accidentally rolled it in and put the stage light on it. I know Del. That was not on purpose. Luckily, though, it did not throw him off. It might have rolled him in a little bit deep, stole a little bit of the last time. Still with 407 to advance to the next round. 